So we're going to be um, going over some special right triangles homework. So this is assuming you guys watched the lecture on special right triangles and now here's the practice. So <clears throat> for example one, we have that we have a 45, 45, 90 degree triangle. So I'm just going to put that that's 45. Now remember you need to label which ones are your this is for 45, 45, 90, which ones are your hypotenuses and which ones are your legs. So the one that's across from the 90 degree angle, that is your hypotenuse, which automatically means these other ones must be your legs. Now, recall from the lecture, <clears throat> you have this ratio, or oh, that is very bad. That should be um, 90 degrees. But from the lecture, you know that for a 45, 45, 90 degree triangle, you have this ratio where from hypotenuse to a leg, you divide by radical 2, and from a leg to hypotenuse, you multiply by radical 2. <coughs> okay, so what we got to do now is, well, we know that a leg is 2 rad 2, which automatically means this b value, this other leg, is also the same length. And you know it's the same length because do you guys notice how they have the same angle measurement? So since they have the same angle measurement, then that means the two legs have the same length. Now, how do you get from leg to hypotenuse? Well, to get from leg to hypotenuse, you just have to, so from leg to hypotenuse, you multiply by radical 2. So multiply by radical 2. So 2 radical 2 times radical 2 is equal to 2 times radical 2 times radical 2 is radical 4, and the square root of 4, you guys, is just 2. So 2 times 2 is 4. So a is going to equal to 4. So 2 radical 2 and 4. All right, um, number 2, another 45, 45 degree triangle. So opposite to the 90 degree is the hypotenuse. So this is the hypotenuse. And then these are your guys' legs. Okay, so again, we have a hypotenuse. There's information on hypotenuse, so that means we need to go to our 45, 45, 90. And we are going from hypotenuse to the leg, which means it's this one, right? Hypotenuse to leg, you have to divide by square root of 2. So since it's hypotenuse is 4, divide that by square root of 2. And recall, you guys cannot have a square root in the denominator, so you have to multiply top and bottom by that square root. 4 times rad 2 is 4 rad 2. Square root of 2 times square root of 2 is square root of 4, which is square root of 4 is 2. Cancel, 4 divided by 2 is just 2, so 2 radical 2. So that means one leg is 2 radical 2, but then since the legs are equal to each other, that means both of them are 2 radical 2. Eight, moving on, and we're going to just continuously just drag this with us. All right, number three, um, 45, 45, 90 again. So this is 45 degrees. Also remember, you guys, a triangle adds up to 180 as well, right? So this side is the hypotenuse, this is the leg, and this is the leg. Remember, the hypotenuse is across from the 90 degree. All right, so now we can use our ratio. So we have information about the leg. So this leg, they're the same. So that means this is also 3 square root of 2 over 2. Now to find the hypotenuse, so we're going from a leg to a hypotenuse. So from a leg to hypotenuse, you multiply by square root of 2. So we got to do 3 square root of 2 over 2 times square root of 2. Now, anytime you guys multiply a singular, like, whole number-ish, kind of, like, one, a, a number over one times a fraction, just multiply to the numerator only. So, this is going to be 3, and then square root of 2 times square root of 2 is square root of 4 over 2 still. Well, square root of 4 is 2, so 3 times 2 over 2. 3 times 2 is 6 over 2. 6 over 2 is 3. So... This is going to equal to 
three. Okay. All right, number four, another 45, 45, 90. This is hypotenuse, leg and leg. Now, y is equal to 3 rad 2, because it's also a leg as well. So it's 3 rad 2. Now, we have legs. Now we need to get the hypotenuse. So we have to go from leg to hypotenuse, which is multiplying by square root of 2. So 3 rad 2 times rad 2, which is equal to 3 times... 3 square root of 4, which is 3 times 2, which is 6. So x is going to equal to 6. <coughs> okay, uh, moving on. So for number 5, again, it's another 45, 45, 90. which means this is 45 degrees. So remember, across from the 90 degrees, hypotenuse, this is leg, this is leg. So now, we are given the hypotenuse, which means we need to go from hypotenuse to a leg. Doesn't matter which one, because both legs are the same. So hypotenuse to leg, that means you have to divide by square root of 2. So 6 over square root of 2. You have to rationalize this. Remember, can't have a square root in the denominator, so multiply top and bottom by square root of 2. 6 rad 2, rad square root of 2 times square root of 2 is square root of 4. 6 rad 2, but you know square root of 4 is just 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. So both legs are going to be 3 radical 2. Okay. Um, this one, for 6, 45 degrees. So... We are given the, this is hypotenuse, this is leg, and this is leg. So we are given the hypotenuse. Now we have to find the um, legs. So from hypotenuse to leg, you multiply by square root of 2. Oh, sorry. I'm not following my ratios. Hypotenuse to leg, you got to divide by radical 2. So 2 square root of 6, all divided by square root of 2. We need to rationalize this, so multiply top and bottom by square root of 2. So 2 times square root of 6 times 2 is 12. Rad 2 times rad 2 is square root of 4. 2 square root of 12 over 2. Now the 2's cancel, right? 2's cancel from top and bottom. So we got square root of 12. Now remember, you can simplify the square root. If necessary, you should know how to square simplify this, right? So for 3, 2, 2, I'm going to bump this up a little bit up. So remember, if they have a pair, then they come on the outside. So that's going to be 2 square root of leftovers of 3, 2 square root of 3. So 2 square root of 3 for that one, and 2 square root of 3 for that one, because both legs are the same. <clears throat> That's a fun one. Okay, moving on, moving on. Okay, so we have 7 and 8 now. So now we're transitioning to a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle. So if that's 60, this is 30. Now we have to label our hypotenuses, short leg, and long leg. <coughs> so remember, hypotenuse is across from the 90 degree angle. So this is hypotenuse. The short leg is across from the angle that's smaller. So since that's 30 smaller than 60, the side length across from 30 degrees is the short leg. And the long leg is across from the angle that's bigger, which is between 30 and 60. So that's going to be long leg. And now we can use our ratios in order to find what we need. So we're given the hypotenuse first, which means when we follow this, we need to go from hypotenuse to short leg, which is divide by 2. So from hypotenuse to short leg, divide by 2. So 16 divided by 2 is 8. So this is 8. Then we're trying to find the long leg length, so we need to go from short leg to long leg, which would be multiply by radical 3. So 
multiply by radical 3, which is going to be 8 radical 3. And there you guys have it. <coughs> x, y, x is 8 radical 3 and y is 8. All right, next, 8. Um, this is 60 degrees. Okay, so let's label um, across from the 90 hypotenuse. Um, here's the smaller angle, so across from the smaller angle is the short leg. And this is the bigger angle, so across from the bigger angle is the long leg. So let's find the other sides using the ratios of the hypotenuse short leg long leg. So we have this information, which is 2, which is short leg. So to go from short leg to long leg, so short leg to long leg, short leg to long leg, that is multiplied by square root of 3. So 2 times square root of 3 is 2 radical 3. That's for V. Then we need to go from short leg to hypotenuse, and short leg to hypotenuse is multiplying it by 2. So 2 times 2 is 4. So u is equal to 4, and v is equal to 2 radical 3. Okay. Halfway. Okay, uh, number 9. Um, this is 30 degrees. Now let's label across from here, the 90 degree is hypotenuse. Across from the smaller angle is the short leg. And across from the long leg, uh, sorry, across from the bi bigger angle is the long leg. <coughs> okay, so we're given information at short leg again, so that means we need to find hypotenuse and long leg. So to go from short leg to long leg, you multiply by square root of 3. So 8 times square root of 3 is 8 radical 3. Now we need to go from short leg to hypotenuse. So short leg to hypotenuse is multiplying it by 2. So multiply it by 2. 8 times 2, 16. 10. So label across from the 90 degree is the hypotenuse. Across from the smaller angle is the short leg. And across from the larger angle, which is 60 degrees, that is the long leg. <coughs> okay, so it looks like we have information on hypotenuse, which means we need to go from hypotenuse to short leg. So we need to divide by 2. So from hypotenuse to short leg, divide by 2. So, ooh, that's really gross. So 8 radical 5 divided by 2, you guys. So 8 square root of 5 divided by 2. You just have to do 8 divided by 2. So 4 radical 5. So 4 radical, mm, 4 square root of 5. Now to go from short leg to long leg, you multiply by square root of 3. So short leg to long leg, so multiply by square root of 3. So that's going to be 4. Now square root of 3 times square root of 5 is square root of 15. So there's that. Moving on to number 11. So this is 30 degrees. Side opposite to the 90 is the hypotenuse. Side opposite to the 30 degrees, the smaller angle, is the smaller side, so short leg. And the side opposite to the 60 degrees, which is a longer, which is a bigger angle, is the long leg. <coughs> so we have information at 5 square root of 3, which is a long leg. So that means we need to go from long leg, using this ratio right, to short leg. So long leg to short leg is square root of 3. So we got 5 square root of 3 divided by square root of 3. Those are going to cancel, so we just have 5. So y is equal to 5. Now, now that we have the short leg, we need to go from short leg to the hypotenuse, and that is multiplying by 2. So 5 times 2 is 10. Okay, 
Number 12. Um, so 30, 60, 90 degrees. So let's label across from the 90 is the hypotenuse. Across from the smaller angle is the short leg. And across from the larger angle is the long leg. So we're starting from hypotenuse and we need to go to short leg. So hypotenuse to short leg, if you look at the ratio chart, it says divide by two. So 10 divided by two is five. Then we need to go from short leg to long leg. So short leg to long leg, it says multiply by square root of three. So five times square root of three is five square root of three. Mm-hmm. Nice. All right, uh, 13. Uh, so flipping back to 45 degrees, so 45, 45, 90. <coughs> so label across from your 90 is the hypotenuse. Um, and then that just makes these the legs and the legs. So we have information on hypotenuse. So to go from hypotenuse to a leg, it looks to be hypotenuse to a leg divide by square root of two. So eight square root of two divided by square root of two, the square roots cancel, so all we're left with is eight. So this leg is eight, which also means this leg is also eight. <coughs> um, 14, this is 60 degrees. So let's label hypotenuse, um, short leg, long leg. All right, so we have information at the long leg, which means we need to go from long leg to short leg. So long leg to short leg is dividing it by square root of three. So 12 divided by square root of three. Need to get rid of the radical, so multiply top and bottom by square root of three. So 12 square root of three over square root of three times square root of three is square root of nine. But you guys know square root of nine is just three. So 12 square root of three divided by three. 12 divided by three, you guys simplify that, which is four, and then you still got the square root of three. So this is four square root of three. <coughs> now we have the short leg. Now we just need to go to the hypotenuse. So short leg to hypotenuse, it seems like it's multiplying by two. So four square root of three times two, two times four is eight, and then you have the square root of three. So eight square root of three. Fifteen, this is 30 degrees, so let's label opposite to 90, it's the hypotenuse. Um, opposite of the smaller angle is the short leg. And opposite to the bigger angle is the long leg. So, looks like we're starting off with hypotenuse first, so we, that means we want to go from hypotenuse to short leg. So, hypotenuse to short leg is dividing by two. So, three divided by two does not go evenly in, so we're just going to keep it as a fraction. So three over two. Now we need to go from short leg to long leg, and if we look, short leg to long leg is multiplying by square root of three. So multiply by square root of three. So <coughs> again, three over two times square root of three, right? So square root of three just multiplied to the numerator. So it's going to be three square root of three all over two. Sixteen. All right, so label across from the 90 is the hypotenuse. Across from the smaller angle, it's a short leg. And across from the larger angle is the long leg. So it looks like there's information on long leg first. So we're going to go from long leg to short leg. So long leg to short leg, that is divide by square root of 3. So 11 square root of 3 divided by square root of 3. Those cancel. So then we got 11. So this one's 11. Now we need to go from short leg to hypotenuse. So short leg to hypotenuse, that is multiplying by two. I forgot to write that, just divide by square root of three. So two times 11 is 22. So this is 22. Okay, last two problems. 
This is 30 degrees, so across from the 90 is the hypotenuse, across from the smaller angle is short leg, and across from larger angle is the long leg. <clears throat> Alright, so, um, so we have information hypotenuse, right? This is for 30, 60, 90. So from hypotenuse to short leg, it is dividing by 2. So 2 rad 2 divided by 2. The 2's are going to cancel, so all that's left is square root of 2. So this answer is square root of 2. Then to go from short leg to long leg, if we look at our chart, short leg to long leg, that is multiplying by square root of 3. So multiply by square root of 3. So square root of 2 times square root of 3 is square root of 6. Last problem. So label, hypotenuse, leg and leg. Um, we are going from hypotenuse to leg, so that means it is right here. Hypotenuse to a leg, dividing by square root of 2. So 7 divided by square root of 2 cannot have a radical, so multiply top and bottom by that square root. 7 square root of 2 over square root of 2 times square root of 2 is square root of 4, but you guys know square root of 4 is just 2. and can't simplify anymore, so... Both legs are going to be 7 square root of 2. So hopefully you guys had help. Make sure you guys watch the lecture because the lecture helps out a lot, okay? Alright, good luck you guys. Peace.